The USDA program that allows small state inspected meat processors to sell product across state lines has added another name to its lineup. The Cooperative Interstate Shipment Program, administered by the USDA and seven participating states, grants approval to smaller meat processors, allowing them to change their business models from a local focus to one that touches all 50 states. 66 companies in six states currently have approval to ship nationally, and Iowa became number seven when it reached a deal with the USDA in May. So if we uh, provide that service, they're restricted to be able to only be able to resell that product within the state of Iowa. This allows them to enter into larger distribution networks, maybe organic grass-fed or pasture-raised pork or some of these especially smaller farm type things and be able to ship those uh, around the country and even around the world. There are 68 Iowa processors that meet CIS criteria, and Gustafson is one of 13 processors to apply to the Iowa Department of Agriculture. State and federal slaughter, processing, and inspection rules are similar, with states having more leeway to reach standards equal to those specified in the federal rules. Among those differences are labeling, which must match USDA guidelines. The CIS was part of the 2008 Farm Bill and allows for slaughterhouses or meat processors with an average of fewer than 25 employees to receive approval for sales nationally. Ohio was the first state to receive approval in 2012 and has the largest number of CIS processors at 25. The primary beneficiaries of the program are processors that reside close to state borders, companies that want to expand their markets, and processors that wish to sell online. It's really uh, a great thing for small processors. Um, it's going to allow uh, us to provide more services and to even um, distribute specialty products even farther. And a lot of the small processors are in small rural communities, which provides more jobs and more opportunities than in those communities. Vendors are hopeful they can receive final approval this summer. For Market to Market, I'm Peter Tubbs.